All right, hi, I'm uh, Chef Phil at Nola Restaurant located in the French Quarter, 534 St. Louis Street. And I'm gonna be making a, a pizza here today. We're gonna be making the wild boar pizza. It is our most popular of our four pizzas here on the menu. Uh, we make everything in house. So this dough that you see me using right here is uh, made upstairs in our bakery. Um, it's very important working with this house made dough to keep it round. And as you see, I formed this crust here uh, it, around the outside edge and just keeping it thin all the way around. Uh, we're gonna keep the even. So, so one, one area doesn't get thinner than the other. Um, that's important when you're going in this, this hot wood burning oven behind me, uh, it's about 900 degrees. And if the dough is too thin, uh, it can go, it can burn burn pretty quick on you. So once you get it stretched out to about the width that you would like, um, you're gonna, we're gonna transfer it onto the board and we're actually gonna make the, the pizza itself on the board. So here's a board, dust it with just a pinch of flour, just to stop it from sticking. And then we're gonna spread that dough. Again, we wanna keep it, keep it circular, make sure it's even, give it a test See how it's, it's going to slide right off of there. Right here we have our cocoa tomato sauce. Uh, we make a basic tomato sauce, onions, garlic, and uh, stewed tomatoes. And then we add a little bit of dark cocoa powder to it. That dark cocoa powder really helps enhance the flavor of this boar sausage. Uh, this boar sausage is made from uh, Louisiana boars that uh, is processed right here in Louisiana. And the boar sausage, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of gamey flavor to it. So that cocoa powder really brings that out. We're gonna go on with some pickled peppers that we make here in house. We get uh, these combination of sweet bell peppers and some jalapeno peppers grown right outside here by uh, myself. And then we go on here with our house made ricotta cheese. So this is nice and acidic and tangy. It helps go, uh, go great with those peppers. Once we get that on there, we're gonna go in this nice hot oven. Knock some of that extra, extra flour off. You always gotta clean up behind yourself and then And then we wait, so we get that pizza in the oven. Like I said, that oven's about 900 degrees. Get some of that flame. So the big thing about the oven is the temperature and the heat rotates. There's a big dome on the inside of that. And so when you get the, the fire going, the heat goes up and comes right back down. So the top of the pizza cooks as the, the bottom of the pizza cooks right on this hot stone here. While that's cooking, we're gonna get another pizza started. So again, you see me go around the edge here and you form that crust. And then once you, once you form that edge, you don't ever want to touch that again. Let it, that'll rise when the pizza cooks it on that stone. And again, we're just pressing it out, keep it nice and even. You feel with your fingers as the uh, dough gets thinner, you know where you want to stretch out and where you want to kind of leave it alone and just move right on by it. Once you get to a good size, pick it up and then you got just stretching it out, keeping it nice and thin as we go. Stretch it out, and again, we're gonna build that pizza right on the board. A little bit of flour, stop it from sticking. Put that down. This time around, we're gonna make our cheese pizza. So that gets our marinara sauce. Spread around nice and even. You want to leave about a you know a half inch on the edge for the crust to form. We're gonna go with our cheese blend over here. This cheese blend is a Fontina aged provolone and Parmesan mixture. We have some fresh basil that we grow right on our on our balcony, right in the French Quarter of New Orleans. It doesn't get any fresher than growing your own produce, you know? So we, we grow our own basil. We have a purple basil and a sweet basil plant up there. 
We also have a couple different peppers. We have jalapenos and hot cherry peppers. Now, as we're building that pizza, we gotta remember to flip this guy around. And you see you get nice, nice and golden brown there on the outside while the bottom's cooking on that stone. We'll go in. Uh, there's one more pizza I'm gonna make today. This is gonna be a pepperoni pizza. We had one of my sous chefs here, uh, Colin, has been really into making his own charcuterie program. And he's been, uh, we did this all beef pepperoni uh, that we hung up in our wine room for three months. It aged and it got a really great flavor to it. It's nice and a little funky from sitting up there in the wine room. Um, so we're gonna make a, a pepperoni pizza. You know, you've got a bunch of fresh house made pepperoni. Why not add it to one of these delicious pizzas? So our pepperoni pizza, we're gonna start with the same as the, the cheese pizza, a little marinara down. Spread it around, making sure to leave that crust. All right, so back to this boar pizza. On top of this boar pizza, we had a little bit of pecan gremolata. So this is toasted pecans, a little fresh horseradish, some, some lemon zest, a little herbs in there. Put that back in just for a second so we can toast the pecans up. This cheese, cheese blend again is an aged provolone, fontina, and parmesan. Then we're gonna go down here, grab this house-made pepperoni we have right here. Colin, Colin Pound over there made this great pepperoni. As you see, it's a little different color, a little darker than your store-bought pepperoni. That's that age, dry-aged cure we have on there. So look at that, nice couple pieces of that pepperoni. Then we're gonna slide that right in, get the heat. You'll see that pepperoni really, really crisps up as it, as it gets all that heat from the, the oven in there. So we're gonna come out with this pizza. This is that wild boar pizza and we just kind of shine it up there. A little garlic oil on the crust. We're gonna finish with a little Pecorino Romano cheese. That's uh, sheep's milk, so it gets a nice little funkiness to there. Goes great with that wild boar. Little pinch of orange zest to finish it off. And then remember we have that cocoa sauce in the in the um, tomato, the cocoa tomato sauce on the bottom. So we sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder on top. I'm gonna put that right there. That's our wild boar pizza. There's our cheese pizza going. And we got that pepperoni pizza right here. You see sometimes the fire needs a little help. Put a little bit of oil light right up there. You see the smoke billowing, you know, that's that circle, that convection from the, the dome on that oven. There's that cheese pizza. You can see that. You hit it with that garlic oil on the side, nice shine it up. You can see that fresh mozzarella melted beautifully. And we got that, that house grown basil crisped up on there. And that is our cheese pizza. And in a second, we're gonna pull out that, that pepperoni pizza, and then we'll be good to go. If 
Yeah, you gotta remember this oven get up to over a thousand degrees, so these pizzas go go quick in there. There we go, look at that beautiful pepperoni. Man, I know people say this all the time, but I wish you could smell that. That pepperoni is fantastic. So here we go with that. A little bit of that, a little bit of that garlic oil on there. Shine it up, get rid of that extra flour. And then we'll drop this off right here. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. 